Okay, so, and I'm not showing her page or anything because this isn't a promotion for her channel. I just have a question. So when she gets to the nail salon, they take her nails off. Hey, but this one good. No one broken, huh? I know. You've been busy. I don't know if y'all can see, but they take her nails off and do a whole new set of nails. Okay. So here is my question. When you have a full set of nails on, and I see this a lot and I'm getting confused. Why are you not getting a fill? Why are you getting all your nails taken off? And a whole new set put on. Now I understand they're not your, your nails. And you may not care. But at the same time. It costs more. For a take off. Soak off. Full set. Than it does for a fill. So you paying a lot more money. For a fresh full set. So I did ask the question on her video. Hopefully she don't think that I'm rude. But hopefully she answers me. There are two or three other girls that I watch. Um, just to be watching when I watch nail videos. And um, they um, go to the salon and get their nails completely taken off and get a whole full set. And I cannot figure it out. So somebody please help me, answer me, let me know. Why would you not get a feel? Even my daughter does the colored acrylic and she goes to the girl and the girl drills the colored acrylic down and does a feel. My daughter doesn't even get a whole full set every time she goes. So why are we doing full sets every trip to the salon? Y'all got to help me out if anybody knows the answer. Why? Why? You just got a full set two or three weeks ago. Now you're getting another full set. I don't know. Y'all explain it to me. Um, here are my girls. I took it easy on myself this time. So, um, it's Valentine's Day coming up. So, and I felt like doing the pink. So, I did the pink. This is the Sally Hansen Quick Dry Pink. And it does dry fast. I think it's Sally Hansen. The new polish that came out. Five Minute Dry or something like that. Yeah. And I messed it up a little bit at the top. Because I went ahead and put a top coat on it. And it kind of got under the lamp with the other ones. So there's like a little bit at the top that's messed up if you can see it. But I'm not even finna go back and fool with it. Um, I did glitter polish, gel polish on these two fingers. And then I did the rhinestones on this finger. I should have did a glitter polish under this. And that's normally the way I like it. But I had already started doing it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it. I need to put two more stones over there. Two more stones on that side. I'll do that in a second. Um, so I did that. And then on my thumb, I just did a swirl of the glitter and the pink. Um, I made those some rhinestones on there since I have to go back in. Focus. Since I have to go back in and um, put some more stones on it. So this is my left hand. There we go. This is my left hand. I told you guys before I did cut them down. I feel so naked and lost um, with them cut down. Um, but like I said, after I get what I want to get, then I'm going to extend them back out. I don't know if I'm just going to take them off. And I may do a whole new set, but it'll be a long set. It won't be short. Or um, my lady did say that she can build them back out. I may let her do that. Because I really, I don't like going through the takeoff process. I don't even see how y'all enjoy the takeoff process. I don't like it. I don't like sitting. I don't like letting them soak. I don't like nobody getting that drill that close to my nail bed. I just don't like the takeoff process. So I don't know about taking them off and starting over. Um, I'll think about that. So now we're going to go to my right hand. I kind of mixed it up. Still the same similar polishes. Except for I have glitter on the two middle ones. And then the ring, uh, the pinky finger has the pink i'm thinking about putting a bow on my pinky finger or i'm th thinking about waiting um, my thumb on this one has the pink and then the pointer has the stones again i'm trying to let y'all see my stones let me see they don't want to focus on the bling to the bling bling to the bling bling 
I was putting these stones on y'all. I had one brush in my mouth and one in my hand and one in my mouth and one in my hand. I had the one with the with the gel on it, brushing the gel on my nail, put it in my mouth, getting the other getting the other stick and sticking the stones on fast cuz it was drying so 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 fast. It was drying so fast. But I decided to keep it simple this time since I am um job hunting. Of course, I can never be too simple. I'm going to always be me and that's what they're going to get. And like I said, once I have accomplished, I, I have a job. It's not that I don't have a job. I'm just seeking something else. So once I get to where I want to be, then these girls will extend it back out. This is what they look like underneath. So the only good thing about it is they are naturally like all my, like when somebody asks except this one, are they your nails? Uh, they got cut right back, right down to about, yeah, where my nails are. So super stoked about that. But I'll have to decide if I want to um, start over or just build them out and um, how much somebody's going to charge me or do I want to build them out myself. Now, I don't know and I'm not sponsoring her. If you guys follow and this ain't for everybody, but if you guys follow Fetish for Nails on Instagram, let me find her. Fetish for nails. She, see this curve? You see that curve? She is getting ready to sell some curved tips. She is getting ready to sell some curved tips. And she said February 10th. So what I think I'm going to do, because y'all know how I feel about my curve. Look at that. What I think I'm going to do is probably wait till February 10th. I'm going to order the tips because I have some curved tips, but my curved tips are a massive curve. I mean, more massive. When I put my curved tips on, they curve all the way under. Like I have a, my curved tips are curved, but I'm going to order some tips from her and then I'm either going to extend mine out myself or I'm going to take them to the nail girl and I don't care if it's extra, but let her do the work of putting them on. So she's supposed to have some curved tips coming out soon and um i'm definitely going to be on the bandwagon for those curved tips so today is january 26 or 27 so i don't have that far to wait for her tips to come out um so when she does drop these curved tips i will be purchasing them let's hope she ain't trying to hit us across the head with these prices um depends on how many tips you get in the case it might be worth it because I, I can't, it's, I either find something with not enough curve or like I said, what I have has a lot of curve. Like the curve tips I have, I used it to do this one and I had to cut it down because it actually came up under. Like the curve tips that I have are some major curve tips, let me tell y'all. And then they're really short. They're really short and you cannot put two of the tips together that I have. The, the curved tips that I have, you cannot put two together how you normally do to extend out a tip. They are way too curved to even put two together. So I am looking forward to her coming out with these curved tips because if it's what I think it is, it's going to be bomb. And I hope she do a pack of like 50 or something like that just in case you break one or something happens. But if she does that, I'm either going to take these down lower and start from the free edge or I'm going to take them all the way off and start over with the curved tips. That's if she does what she says she's going to do because I would kill for the, and I, I wish I lived near her, but I don't live near her, but I would kill for that curve. Let me tell y'all, I would kill for that curve. So if you love a good nineties curve, definitely check her out. If you know anybody else, that is already selling tips that are curved like that, holla at me. I, I keep finding tips, but it's not what I'm looking for. But these are going to be my nails for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to go add some little stones where I'm missing stones. And these should stay on for about two to three weeks because I put them on with gel. And then I put the gel risen in between and put it under the lamp again. So these stones are probably really, really, really going to be going to be on with no problem. So I think this is simple enough. It's I got my bling going, but it's simple enough.
for people not to judge me as far as work quality. Um, I talked about that in the video where I got them done and it's just ridiculous how you're judged. But either way, what God has for me will be for me, whether you like these, whether you like those, whether you like that, you cannot block what's already out there for me sweetheart so you guys have a wonderful blessed day i hope you enjoy the video and i'll see you guys next time